in the doll room with Rapunzel. We just got her at the thrift store a few days ago and I am so excited to work on her hair. She has incredibly long, gorgeous hair, but it is in a bun from, I don't know what kind of bun this is, but anyway, I'm going to work on her hair. But first, I'm just going to clean her up. I'm going to give her a wash. I'm going to clean her with Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And then we'll come back and dip her hair in the coffee pot. So look at Rapunzel. Look at all these marks on her. I want to show you guys how she looks before. All of this is on her. So let me just go clean her up. So guys, Rapunzel is back. She is nice and clean. Take a look at her face. I just love Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Um, basically what I do is I cut a small square and I use it over and over on the same doll until you cannot use it anymore and you have to throw it away. This way I know that she is completely clean and I wiped her down and the only thing remaining is a small mark right there. I don't know if you can see it. That's all that's left and she was pretty grungy. So she's nice and clean now. Now I'm going to try to tackle the hair. Wish me luck. I don't know what I'm going to find when I undo this bun. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is um, take apart this bun. There's a rubber band here, but I'm just going to cut it. No need to save that. So let's see if that helped at all. And it did not. So let's cut this. Oh my God. Take a look at this, guys. Wow. Okay, that must have been in that bun for a while. Look at this. This is complete. Oh my goodness, what the heck? What is this? Oh look, I got a bracelet. Oh wow, good for me. Okay, let's keep going here. So I got my brush, and basically, I'm just going to try to just loosen it up a bit. The main brushing comes after it's been dipped in the hot water. Now I'm ready to put her in the hot water. So I'm gonna get my coffee pot. She has a lot of hair, so you just have to put it in there. Okay, she is in here. So I get a cup, see? I get this cup, and I'm going to use it to prop her up because her hair is going to be in that hot water for five minutes. And just five minutes, you can set a timer. So I think Rapunzel is ready to come out of the hot water. So I'm going to keep brushing her hair and I'm going to move this coffee pot closer to me because I want to lean her on it. Don't worry guys, it's off. So I'm going to try to lean her on this coffee maker and just let her hair flow because I don't use a hair dryer so I'm going to brush it all the way down and let her hair dry. You guys can see it is really fantastic. I am so shocked. It is really coming together. If you take a look, it is really nice. Over here, just keep brushing it all the way down just to untangle it. I'm going to let this dry. Now this is going to take a while to dry. 
to air dry so I'm going to leave it like this for as long as it takes to dry so I'll be back when it's dry and I'll take it from there okay I'm back I wanted to show you the clothes I picked out for Rapunzel while her hair is drying and I might just finish up and show you what it looks like on her and then I'll let her hair dry it might take a whole day for it to dry so I'll finish up the video then we let her hair dry but basically what I picked up was this adorable dress now you guys know how I go to thrift stores and I buy porcelain dolls if they're wearing really nice clothes and that's what I did I saw this adorable dress at Savers at the thrift store on a porcelain doll uh, what I'm showing you is the smocking look at how nice look at how nicely made this dress is these are hand embroidered flowers on it it comes with pantaloons socks and shoes so this whole outfit cost me $4.99 which is what the doll the porcelain doll cost but what I really like was I was able to take the doll's wig as well I do this all the time and I get wigs for my BJD's um, I try to find out the size of the doll and I can always use a wig and these clothes are fitting the animators and they look really nice on the animators so that's how I picked Rapunzel's clothes for today so now I'm going to try the dress on Rapunzel brush out her hair a little bit more see guys I'm not gonna hold it there okay see but it is straight and easily manageable so I'm going to dress her in this outfit that I showed you hey guys so Rapunzel is dressed and I just love the way this outfit looks on her. She is wearing the pantaloons, the socks, and the shoes. The dress is a little big, but it is absolutely perfect to me. I really love how it looks on her. And her hair is all the way combed through. It is not styled or anything, and I haven't done anything to her hair except wash it. And in this case, I did wash it, unlike Ariel, that I didn't wash. The reason I washed it is because of her body. I went through a whole Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, the small cube that I cut out. I went through the whole thing. So if her body was that dirty, her hair was pretty nasty too. So I did the coffee pot hot water treatment for five minutes. Then I went and washed her hair. And then I put it in the coffee pot just for like maybe one or two minutes and I took it out and I kept brushing and this is how it turned out so this is two times dunk, dunked in the hot water now I think it is fantastic this is a doll that we got at the thrift store I am just so excited about how she turned out and because I'm way into these animators I am going to keep looking for porcelain doll clothes at the thrift store. So I feel good taking this outfit from that doll. But I am just so excited to have this outfit, to have this doll, and to add her to our collection. If you have any questions about anything you've seen today, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.